Hello everyone, Zcor here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be revisiting the R16A1 or as it's now called the M16A3. And obviously the reason I'm, I'm doing this video is because it got a buff not recently. It's been like ages now, but I did plan to make a uh, before and after the buff video, but I was so damn late that now I, I, it didn't make sense to make it before and after the buff video. It just wasn't even possible. So we're just going to do a single revisit video on it. Now this gun, it's it's a really, really special gun. Like it's it's the gun with probably the most culture in history uh, between all the guns in the game because it's been through so many damn changes and those changes have been like really major big changes. Um, obviously it doesn't compare to uh, the M217 and the changes that that gun has had because for some reason they changed the M217 every single fucking update. But th this gun has has been through a whole lot of shit. And I'll explain to you guys what uh, what I mean by that. Um, but also on top of that, my opinion of the gun and my sort of like relationship with the gun has changed a lot over the course of its its ch its changes and uh, throughout the years. Um, it sounds weird to say relationship and talk of a gun, but um, you, you'll find out what I mean by that as well. So uh, without further ado here's like the history of what the R16 has been through since the beginning of its uh, life cycle. Um, so when it was first released, it was back during the time when I'm pretty sure every gun in the game was available through the vendor, but the catch was that they would come in and out of the game. They will be accessible and then be removed from the game through what is called vendor rotations. So a, a, set of, a select number of guns would be available for people to unlock and then, I don't know, for like a week or two, and then they would be removed from the game and replaced with another series of guns. Now, the case of the R16 and a few other weapons like the um, R98B, surprisingly enough, because um, even though it wasn't like broken or anything, it was one of the guns that, um, just like the R16, it became really, really rare because it was only in one of the like early uh, rotations, uh, vendor rotations of the game, and then after that rotation, the devs just decided to, no, well, we're never going to bring this gun back. So nobody else is going to be able to unlock it. So what happened is that um, some guns like the R16 and the R98B became like these rare artifacts that you would see like once on a full moon. And you would be like all like, oh my god, what is this amazing weapon? Or like this mysterious weapon, I should say. Um, but the case for the R16 was a bit different because... It was actually pure shit. Like, I'm not joking when I say that because even the people, the few people who did have the gun, they would never use it. Just that's just how bad it was. And the reason it was so bad is because um, I don't remember the exact stats, but the main uh, problem with it is that on top of having bad stats, it had like um, it was burst fire, and just it it was a complete shitty gun overall. Uh, from the com because of the combination of the stats and the burst fire so no you would never even see it even though a few people a select number of people had it and could be like could show off show off with it but they, they would never use it because they just get shit on um but then what happened is that um after it was i don't know how long the t27 was meta and yes for the young ones out there the rgx wasn't here since the dawn of time it hasn't, your grandfathers weren't using the RGX and sweating in ranked. Um, the first rifle uh, to be meta and be used by 99% of players was the T27 actually. And then after that, it was the R16. And that happened, that transition happened when they decided to, out of nowhere, buff the R16. So they buffed the R16 and the R16 took over uh t27's place as the new meta gun and it was meta for like a year two years and then obviously as you guys probably most know most of you know the rgx the sweat gx took his place now throughout these changes my opinion of the gun obviously changed as well i mean not obviously but i i, ha I have a very like complicated relationship if that makes any sense with the gun um it's actually the gun that i think i have the most videos of on my channel 
but that is despite the fact that f for the duration of the time when it was uh, the meta weapon, I hated this gun like like I had murdered my family. Like I hated this gun so much, I would never touch it. Um, and that that's I don't know what's wrong with me, but that's just how I am. When something starts becoming popular and like everyone puts their sweaty hands on it, I start disliking the gun. Obviously, that's not gonna happen with the Karkum SMG because because that's just the holy weapon. But with the R16, because I didn't have like any personal liking, I, I didn't take a personal liking to it. It wasn't like I liked the... Uh, I think I, I, I mostly enjoyed and used it because it was just a very uh, all-around good weapon, like very powerful weapon. But I didn't like love it or anything. So after it got buffed, I got pretty lucky and got in in Warface Law random boxes. And the video of that is actually on my channel. And I started using the shit out of it. I, I just never switched to anything else. But then as soon as it uh, became meta, I, I put it away for like, uh, for spiderwebs to form, uh, form over it. And the only time I started coming back to it is obviously after the RGX took its place. Um... So yeah, and, and, and now it's like this sort of weird, awkward uh, <laughs> situation with me and the gun where it's like I abandoned it and like cursed it and I, I was like, I don't want to use you, you piece of shit. And now that it's not popular anymore, I'm like, it's it's fine, I don't mind you. Um, so yeah, and I, um, that's like the history that I was talking about and what, what makes the gun special, at least for me. And now to the actual topic of the video after six minutes of rambling on. Um, so even though it was in meta, the gun was still pretty amazing. You would see people use it here and there. But obviously because I think because the RGX is just so damn popular and common, you're like, let's buff some of these other guns so that people realize they exist as well. So the changes that they introduced are, first of all, increased limb damage multipliers. Uh, an easier recoil to control and lower long burst accuracy. I'm pretty sure that last one is a nerf, but uh, with those two first ones, overall, it's it, it will become even a better gun than it was already. Um, because like I said, it was a pretty damn powerful weapon to begin with. And these these changes are pretty much like the icing on top of the cake. If, if that's how the expression goes, I don't remember. Um, it was a, a mainly a headshot weapon, but since the damage to the limbs have increased, it's going to be able to, I guess, uh, compete a bit more fairly with the ARX. And with the, the easier recoil control, well, you'll be able to um, spray with it um, more consistently than before. Although that, that uh, nerf to the accuracy um, is going to make it a bit harder to uh, spray with it. But from my experience, if you uh, stick to burst burst fire and tap firing, you probably won't have any issues with the gun. And uh, you'll be able to do pretty damn well with it if you go for headshots. So yeah, um, overall, uh, it's a great weapon. If you, if you, I wouldn't recommend switching over to it over any of the other meta uh, weapons, um, mainly because it, it will do pretty poorly at range i just checked out the stats I, I as you guys know i never check the stats but here i went out of my way for this video and checked the stats and it appears that the range the stats for when it concerns the range are pretty bad compared to the other weapons because it has 15.5 uh, meters of range um whereas the other ones have 16 17 and 17 and a minimum damage of 50 whereas the other ones have 57 uh, it has a standard damage drop at least at 1.1 per meter. Um, but with those two other ones, the minimum damage and the range, you'll probably have a better luck at using the AK Alpha and AK 12 and the Beretta when you are on a map or in a situation where there's a lot of long range gunfights. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know how you felt about that little story time added in there <laughs> to, to fluff up the video. That, that was basically the whole video. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.